Why do I always have to flail my hands when I say what's up? Why am I singing? I don't know. Okay, here's the deal. The other day, I was like, I'm gonna film a fucking get ready with me. I had, I thought, I'm, I'm gonna do this like real professional, right? Because obviously my background is like dick right now. So, I set everything up. It literally took me an hour and a half. Also, my camera is touching my desk, so it's gonna be real wobbly, but I just, I'm just trying to get the show on the road. So, I set everything up. It took me an hour and a half. I'll fucking film that, get ready with me. And then I went back to edit it, and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I just can't do this. Like, I felt like I was in a confessional on a reality TV show. Like. I should have been here, my name should be here, and I'm like dogging on all the other people in the show, you know what I mean? It just felt real fucking weird. I felt like a beauty guru or something, and let's be real, we all know I'm not. So, I'm, here I am, I'm doing it again. I mean, not, I really didn't have to explain all that <laughs> to you guys, but I felt the need to. Also, this Vidya is going to be, one of you guys suggested to do like a throwback Thursday, since I had just decluttered all my palettes, uh, doing a throwback Thursday with some older palettes, which we are going to do today with the Mi Vita Loca. But funny thing is, <laughs> literally the only thing that's old is that palette, because I got all this new shit to try, like foundation, concealer, I got some of the new Stila, you know, they came out with like new glitter, whatever they're, they're called. They, this one just says shimmer or liquid eyeshadow, but the old ones say magnificent metals glitter and glow. So I don't think they're the same thing and I don't think they're the same formula because these I don't really care for. I'm just going to throw it out there, but we're going to try it again. I tried it in my other get ready with me and I was like, oh my God, like why? Is this so different so basically the premises behind this is that it has this white base that dries clear and then all you have left is the glitter so I have tried it without anything like a base well I can't say that I've tried it with like you know concealer and then a lot of putting powder on the concealer and it was the creasiest crease fuck of life and then I tried it over top of an eyeshadow because I was like well maybe you gotta put it over top of an eyeshadow or something so then I tried it over top of an eyeshadow and it was still the creasiest crease fuck of life and it sucked so here we go again we're gonna do it again so I, uh, I don't know yet I don't know yet I'm very undecided on how I feel about that also before we get into it, I would just like to throw out there that I'm super excited because I finally have, let's call it a prototype. If you guys have not been following me on YouTube stories, I don't post it on there very much. I don't post on anything very much, let's be fucking honest. Um, I know I don't post on there very much, but I have been like kind of sporadically throwing in some things here and there about like my process of making YouTuber merchandise. Surprise announcement. Should I put that in the title? Surprise announcement. Like every other beauty guru does and then it's usually just an announcement of shit that they want you to give them money for. Which is basically what I'm doing. But I'm making it myself, right? So we have a prototype. Are you ready? Dun, 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 dun. Here it is. Do you guys like it? Oh, my boobs are falling out of the bottom of my bra. Let's fix that. <laughs> so, this is it. This is the prototype. Do you like the font? Do you like this little thing? I thought I would put this little thing here so it wasn't as plain. And then I got the little thing for my piercing hole. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Let me straighten it out so you can actually see it. This is what she looks like. Oh my God, I love it so much. I love it. Do you love it? If you don't love it, please tell me in the comments below so I can change it. But I really, oh, I know I'm all mixed up. But I really like it. I like it so much and it looks so good on everything I do. First, I put it on a t-shirt, like a just a plain ass. Tim always wears like white undershirts and he's got 8 million of them. So I put it on one of those. And then I was like, let me see what it looks like on like a color shirt or something. Maybe people don't like white. I personally love the color white, hate wearing it because I am a fucking slob and I spill shit 
everywhere all the time, always. So, uh, I decided to put it on this gray shirt. I really like it on this gray shirt. So now all I have to do is come up with a few other designs, find a t-shirt company. I'm still working on my website right now. Girl, I need to get ready because goddamn get ready with me. But do you guys like it? Do you like it? Please tell me if you like it in the comments below. Also give me ideas. Don't like that. You know, the use. I would love to hear your guys' ideas. You've been giving me so many good ideas so far. So this font I went with, like I said earlier, when I was talking about being up on the YouTube stories, this font I chose because a lot of you guys seem to like this font because I had written out like a bunch of different fonts and y'all seem to like this one. Okay, let's fucking put some makeup on already, okay? So, me Vita Loca palette, <laughs> I have not use this palette in probably two years it's probably not eye safe at this point but we're gonna try it out i'm gonna do my eyes first because i really don't remember if that has like fallout or like what the delio what's going on with it where is my shape tape here she is so i'm just gonna put oh should i do my brows i should probably do my brows i'm gonna prime my eyes with some shape tape blend that out throw a soft pocket powder on top do my brows and then i'll brb and then we'll like fuck with the eye shit i picked the maybe to look a palette specifically because i have these little steel glitters i have the mint myth and then i've also got peach pretense so i'm gonna use one of these or both of these we'll see let me let me uh prime my eyes and then put some eyebrows on and then i'll be brb okay that's a Bound as good as my brows are gonna get it right now. <laughs> so let's just get into this. Okay, so I think I I, I feel like I'm, I'm probably gonna have to do something colorful just because of these little glitters. I don't know why I bought these because I never wear super colorful shit, but I just seen them. I swatched them. I was like, oh my god, it's so pretty. So I gotta do it. Okay, so let's start with muse and just use that as a transition i'm gonna transition i'm just using it to kind of dust over the lid but i'm gonna go in with like some pinkier stuff i don't know why i'm picking this purple to decide to transition with girl we'll see we'll see how it turns out so anyways what's up what's the dish i'm gonna go into swoon i think that's what that is yeah oh these are powdery look I forgot about these. I haven't used this palette, like I said, in like two years or something. I haven't touched it. I just, I don't know why I feel the need to keep it around. Probably because it's colorful. I don't really own anything super colorful like this other than my electric palette. So I just felt like obligated to keep it around even though I don't fucking use it. <laughs> I should go up on the Glam Bot and try to sell the motherfucker because so many apparently this palette is like very sought after which i was not aware of until i seen like a um who was it raw beauty christy i think did a video about how she had like purchased this palette off of like some used website or something because she wanted it so bad and a lot of people were doing that i guess i don't know sarah uh let's talk t-shirts y'all i'm so fucking excited like First of all, I don't, that, <laughs> that sounded like I was like, first of all, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but we're getting there. I'm using Wix. Um, I don't know if I've said this or not, but I'm using Wix uh, to design my my website. I know a lot of people use that like Squarespace or whatever, but I'm just a little bit more familiar with Wix only because when I was a photographer, um, I designed a website with Wix and it turned out really good. So, and I think that they make it pretty easy and they have e-commerce on there. So I can go on there and like sell stuff. So that's what I'm going to use. As far as the t-shirts go, somebody had mentioned, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still a little bit sick. Somebody had mentioned, um, Pasty Pirate. Should we do a Pasty Pirate shirt too? I think what I'm going to do, um, for one of the designs is do peace, love, and chicken grease, but I think I'm gonna do like type font. Peace, period, love, period, chicken grease, period. What do you guys think about that? Should we do that? I think it sounds like a good idea. I would fucks with a shirt like that. Totally wear it, totally, girl. 
I'm so excited about it. I need to just like get the fuck on it. Well, it's it, it's hard too because I don't know as far as like, oh, hello, where'd you go, son? I don't know as far as um uh what do I want to say? Sizes and things like that. I found a couple of shirts that I feel like will be really nice, but tell me I here's an idea. You guys tell me uh, in the comments, could you tell me like your sizes or what sizes you plan on ordering? Say if it's just like a t-shirt, what size would you guys plan on ordering? Please do a lot of bish now. I thought about doing hoodies. Y'all need to tell me like your thoughts on the hoodie thing because I know there were a couple of people that were like, oh, I don't know how many hoodies you're gonna sell because um, either you live in a warm climate or like yo it's it's going to be spring so you're not going to need a fucking hoodie but i live in ohio like literally yesterday was negative 50 fucking degrees girl not 50 not 50 girl negative 50 fucking degrees like they shut down the fucking malls they were shutting down like the schools Aiden has been canceled from school yesterday and today today it's only like negative 30 so <laughs> I don't know why school got canceled no I'm kidding because there are those assholes that send their fucking kids to school what kind of an asshole would like make their kids walk to school I get that a lot of people don't have a, an option. I get that. There's people that work and whatever else. But can you find a friend, a relative, somebody like that? Don't make your kids walk to school in fucking negative 50 degree weather, girl. Okay, now I'm going to go into Anthem. This almost looks like a satin, but I'm just going to say fuck it and put it on my lids anyways. Ooh, that is dusty. This reminds me, these um, shadows remind me a lot of like her older palette shadows. Like the ones that were... You know those little like six bangers or whatever they were uh i just decluttered one i can't remember what it was called now but i used to love those palettes but it seems like as makeup companies has gotten better has <laughs> makeup companies has gotten better has have half since makeup companies have gotten better and makeup's gotten better they just seem um not the greatest this one's a lot better than those i do remember those being uh really i mean they're really dusty but on top of that they like don't blend very well it's like one of those shadows where you pick it up and it splotches right where it is because there's so much pigment in it and it's just a little bit like too soft you know what i mean so we're going purple today i hate purple on my eyes but we're here we're doing it what, about, what else are we gonna do girl what else are we gonna do i'm just going to the gym tonight and i wear glasses so who gives a fuck right I just don't, I don't know what it is, but lately I've just not been into like super brights on my eyes, maybe pastels or something, but if y'all follow me, you know, like I haven't even been super down with like fucking my makeup up hard, you know what I mean? Like doing all the things. I do if I have like somewhere to go um, and I want to like bang some shit out, but if I'm just like doing everyday mom shit, like... I'm just not about that life anymore because A, it takes way too fucking long to do. <laughs> and B, for some reason, lately, so like over the past six months or so, I have just enjoyed putting makeup on other people so much more than putting makeup on myself. I don't know what it is, dude, but I think it's because my eyes are hooded and it's just frustrating to like not be able to do like super cool shit i mean you can still do super cool shit with hooded eyes but let's be real all my hoodies out there y'all know what up like it sucks to know that you have the talent i just tap back into swoon and i'm just kind of like putting that over the top um it sucks to know that you have the talent to do that but you like physically cannot because of your eye shape you can't replicate something because of the shape of your eyes you know what i'm saying girl it's just a little depressing okay i'm gonna take this clean brush and just kind of like blend this out i'm just being like really messy and kind of haphazard 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 with this so it just kind of looks like very diffused and blown out should i put some over my eyes maybe i should just put it over my eyes and then put that glitter on top should we do that Let's take that pink and do that. Let's do this. 
why not? We're just playing, girl. Ain't nobody serious over here. Ooh, that's like super fucking pink. <laughs> when you like use your finger, girl, super pink. I just know like with these shadows, like you really need some kind of a like real, real dry base to put under there. So I'm gonna take Swoon and just use it on my finger. Then I'm also gonna go into, what does that say? Love, it's got a little, two little dots above the O. And I'm gonna put that over top of it. And then I'm gonna go in with that glitter and put that glitter on top. I got a little fallout going out down there. And then I'm gonna go back into Anthem and just kind of like, blend that in with the outer corner. I'm going to bring it a little bit into the inner corner too just because I got that glitter so I'll use that to kind of cut crease it out and then grab my this brush. They do blend really well. I forgot how nice these are. They're a little dusty but they do blend really well. Okay I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge and like wipe that off. Cause I got all the fallout, girl. Okay, da da da, it's the moment of truth. It's the moment of truth. What the fuck did I do with them? Oh, here they are. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this peach pretense and just put it over top, and I'll kind of show you guys what I mean. Like these are like kind of streaky. They're supposed to be like duochrome, which they are, but they're also like. I don't know I think it's because they've got that white base on there that I don't know it just it makes it weird you know you probably don't know because you have no they're so wet they're so much wetter than what like the metallic ones are I feel like this is a different formula I was super excited about this um, just because the colors are like really pretty and duochrome -y, but I'm, I'm kind of leaning more dis towards disappointment than excitement the more I use them. <laughs> I just watched uh, the Miss Fame paint Alaska Thunderfog, so now I want to talk like this. Every time I hear Alaska talk, I always want to talk like this. I wonder if I could add color to this, if that would do something. So that's what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. Probably not. It's probably making it look super awesome on camera. But I feel like there's a little bit of streakage going on here. Uh, uh, I don't know if I like it. It's almost like the more you add, the worse it gets. Ooh, I went too high with that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna try to get that off. Because <laughs> I went too high with it right there. It's so wet, y'all. Like, so wet. I'm sure it looks bomb digs on camera, but I promise you guys, it's like super weird. And it's almost like taking the other eyeshadow off, you know? I feel like it's probably not looking bad on camera but I don't know y'all I don't know how I feel about these and you know what sucks major squirrel nuts is I totally use my points and also to buy these <laughs> so I literally paid like four dollars for them so it's not like I can return them okay I'm cool I'll stop doing that now. <laughs> okay, on to the foundation. I'm gonna put, ooh, I know that was fucking loud. Sorry, headphoneers. I'm gonna put some of my, oh look, I just tried to do the Instagram thing and like make it run down my face and it totally didn't. It's just plopped on my face and then squirted out all over the place. So, Becca, first light priming filter. So, listen what happened this weekend. I was so fucking pissed, like, why does this always happen to me? So, it, it seems like for everything for our house, every time I go somewhere, like, I almost feel like I need to get off of the Pinterest, get off of the fucking gram when it comes to, like, buying shit for our house. Because every time I try to get something for our house, it's fucking sold out. The blinds that we were supposed to get for 
our kitchen. Well, that was kind of our fault. <laughs> they were in stock and then we bought the wrong size and then we went back to them and they were sold out. So the blinds that we were supposed to get from Ikea were sold out for our kitchen. We had to get different blinds than we originally wanted. Then our kitchen table, which I'm ordering from a website called structube.com, um, which I don't even know how I came across this website, but they have the cutest shit and they're like pretty well priced like their prices are pretty dope it's almost like a west elm or like an urban outfitters or something but their prices are like oh so nice so i found a kitchen table on there and went to order it and it's fucking sold out till february <laughs> so february 10th is when i get to get my dining room table then um some of you lovely lovely people let's talk about the foundation for a second and then we'll get back to that so this is the photo ready candid foundation um from revlon i bought this a couple of weeks back and i haven't even used it yet i like threw it in my uh drawer in my bathroom and then just fucking forgot about it like i do with everything should i wait yes i'm not doing the rest of my eyes because i want to wait till i get my foundation stuff on sometimes i feel like if i finish my eyes before my foundation then when i put my foundation on i get all crazy with it and then i get foundation in my eyes after i've already mascaried so anyways um i think should i do this with my fingers or my fingers all fucked up i think um hopefully it matches does it even match matches well enough if it's too light i'll add some cc cream no it does it does kind of match doesn't it okay i don't know if i should use my fingers like i usually do or i should use a beauty blender let's start with fingers it seems like they're trying to replicate the it cosmetic cc cream um but anyways it's a lot thicker though seems like and obviously a lot more coverage um so some of my lovely, lovely friends here up on the YouTubes, AKA y'all, uh, have told me that there's a West Elm in Columbus. I didn't even know there was a West Elm in Columbus, right? So I go talk Tim into going to Columbus last week. I've also got new concealers too. Anyways, I talked him into going to Columbus last week. I do like this with my fingers. Yeah, that's not bad not bad girl i'm used to a little bit more glowy but we can always spray some fix plus on it so talked him into going to columbus i'm like let's go to fucking west elm so we went to easton we go to west elm i'm super excited i was like oh my god i didn't know this was here that i was like when did you open the dude's like we opened fucking seven years ago i was like oh okay but here's the thing though, like I don't fucking go to Easton in Columbus to shop for furniture, you know what I mean? I go there to like shop for clothes and shoes and whatever else. Also, I've never owned my house before, so I never really bought like bougie ass stuff. Shush, shush. I went to say shit and said stuff. Um, I've never owned my own house before, so I, I never like bought bougie ass stuff. So now that we own our house, we'd be buying bougie ass shit. So I went in there, <laughs> I felt so stupid. I was like, how long have you been open? And he's like seven years. So I was like talking to the guy there. I was super excited. Showed him like, oh my God, do you have this in stock? I kind of look ghostly, do I not? I look a little ghostly, girl. I look a little ghostly. We might have to overdo the bronzer. Anyways, um, I was talking to the guy there and I'm like, yo, I want this. Do you have it in stock? And here's the thing. If you are unaware, West Elm, if you are far away, which I think I've mentioned in a video before, if you live far away from West Elm, the fucking shipping though, even though there's a fucking West Elm like two hours away from me, the shipping is literally like at the absolute very least for furniture, $200. It's $199. Well, I think it's $99 for anything within um a 50 mile radius maybe and then 199 over that and 299 dollars get up in the microphone for this one 299 dollars if you're over 500 miles fuck you west elm with that fucking shipping dough so i went in i was like this is what i want blah 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 can i please order this here or do you have this of course they didn't have it in stock so um 
I was like, can I fucking order it without having to pay $300 for shipping? Because I'm not about to do that. This, I feel like, is very pale. Maybe it's just because I've been using my light CC cream, but it's very pale. But I fucks with it, though. I kind of like the finish and the coverage of it, so I might have to get, like, a darker shade. Anyway, I'm going to put a little bit more on my nose. Um, so, uh, he's like, yeah, we can totally do that. We can order it um, in the store. It's $25 to have it shipped to the store. So I was like, oh, yes, I could totally do that, right? So then he's like, okay, let me go check on that because we can order it from the warehouse and blah, blah, blah. Comes back. Wouldn't you know that it's fucking out of stock? It's out of stock at the warehouse. Not only that, not only is it out of stock at the warehouse, but he said it's not coming back till fucking April. April. Girl. <laughs> it's like four fucking months away. I don't want to wait for four months. Maybe three months. What, are, what month is this? January? It's almost February though. I don't want to be waiting for three fucking months for a TV stand for my bedroom is all I'm saying. So that led me to oh my god dude my look do you see the gray oh it's like a streak look at that gray oh girl i don't think this whole like blonde transitioning thing is gonna work for me i've been trying to like level my hair up to a color of blonde to where i could just have like a ruddy blonde and then like the gray could possibly like blend in with the blonde but that's not working we'll see when i go blonder i may just have to do my roots anyways so um where was i at in the story i fucking like this look this looks so nice right oh, i kind of like this we'll see how it wears and stuff i have to go to the gym tonight so maybe i'll um pop up a picture on youtube stories when uh i get home tonight which by the way what is the deal with the youtube stories i don't understand because when you are like on the stories you see like literally everybody's story there's all these foreign people that and i don't i don't, don't want to be like foreigners no it's like people who don't speak english that i don't follow because i don't speak their native language are like on there being like hey what's up and i'm like wait a minute i'm not subscribed to this person so do you see everybody's stories and then i feel like does that mean like everybody in the world go see my stories because what i do a lot of times is if i'm watching somebody's story i'll set my phone down and just like let it run through my subscription feed i do that for instagram too and on here it's like there's, I, I start hearing like all these foreign languages. I'm like, what's going on? Why is it showing me the story of this fucking dude? Like, what the hell? It's so weird. Why is it like that? Do you guys, is it like that for you too? Or do I just have some weird setting? Anyways, back to the story. What was I talking about? West Elm. Yes. Oh, so I have to wait clear till fucking April for a TV stand. So then that led me to walking around the West Elm being like, do I order it and wait till fucking April for a TV stand? Or what if between now, which is like January 25th or whatever day it was, in April, whatever the fuck day this thing decides to come in, I see another TV stand that I might possibly like and might possibly want to buy. And then if I buy that TV stand, I'll have $400 of fucking West Elm money that I could just buy decor and bedding and pillows and things like that with. What do I do? <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I'm in such a debacle. Like, third world problems, right? But still, girls, still. So, I did not buy the stand. I did not order it to wait until April 4th to come in. I have been looking on um, a couple other sites. I went to Crate and Barrel, which, Jesus, goddamn Crate and Barrel is expensive. I knew it was expensive, but I just feel like their prices over the years have just went up and up and up and up and up. And now it's to a point where it's like, who can fucking afford Crate and Barrel? Like, it's so expensive. Also, for I'm looking for this concealer. I just bought a concealer. It's brand new. It's the new Estee Lauder concealer, and now I can't find it. Okay, well, I guess we're not going to use that one because I have no fucking clue where it is, and I don't want to spend an hour looking for it. But 
I did buy another concealer and it's this one. The Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer. I, the Smashbox Studio Skin is like one of my favorite foundations. When I was wearing full coverage foundation, I don't wear full coverage anymore, but when I was like, Dude, this foundation looks really nice. Is it? It's kind of getting into my forehead lines, but Jesus Christ, my forehead lines are not forehead lines. They're like forehead, what are those fucking things called that earthquakes make? Crevices? No. Cracks? No. Craters? No. The crater is round. What is that called? Leave it in the comments. What is that called? That fucking, what are they called? Earthquakes make those big cracks in the ground that's that's what's in my forehead right now girl because um i've totally been like low blow slacking on the botox lately so anyway uh back to what i was saying though so i'm gonna use this the smashbox one i have shade fair warm so um where was i with my story <laughs> i don't remember where was i with my story fuck where was I let me think oh yes okay I guess I was done but let me just tell you uh as I was saying the fucking crate and barrel is so expensive speaking of which this is what I was trying to segue into and then I cut myself off because ADD uh speaking of which uh have y'all ever been to fucking restoration hardware <laughs> Okay, so y'all know I'm just like this Midwest ass bitch that like I don't have nothing bougie around me. There's not like the Easton Mall is like the bougiest thing we have and literally all they have is like a Louis store and like Michael Kors. So um, I always hear all these YouTubers talking about the restoration hardware and you always hear like the Kardashians are like I got the restoration hardware. And all these, like, oh, <laughs> I just turned British for a second. All these, all these, like, West Coast people are, like, rent to range and hardware, rent to range and hardware. So I was like, oh, my God. When we were in Crate Barrel, I saw that there was a restoration hardware across the street. I was like, please, yes, let me go there. So uh, we go into restoration hardware. And <laughs> that place was so fucking pricey it was like one of those places that's so fucking pricey they don't even put prices on this shit but like they like shove the tags like under the cushions you know what i mean like certain stuff has prices on it so uh i walked in there i looked at three things that walked the fuck out because i was like goddamn i didn't know it was this goddamn pricey i was thinking like west elm pricey you know what i mean which I've come to find out that West Elm's like actually not that bad. So, and I wish, oh my God, do I wish. Had I known there was, I talk too much in this like set without me blending it out. I have glitter everywhere. Yeah, I kind of set without me blending it out. Whatever. Anyway, um, had I known that we had a West Elm right in Columbus, because I really wanted to get my um living room furniture from west elm i really wanted to get my living room couch from west elm so bad hold on my camera is about to shut off anyways i really wanted to get my couch from west elm because they're okay so i like a leather very deep seated couch right and there is nothing like that around here and i was so anxious to get our couch so we ended up having our couch we bought our couch at a local place but we had it custom made um with like deep seating and a certain style of arm and whatever else um by the amish people like the amish people and, and it, we had it custom made by smith brothers which is like a big furniture company like an amish furniture company or whatever because we wanted a very well-made couch had i known west elm was there i totally like would not have done that i would have just went to west elm because when i saw the pricing of the couches because i was like talking to the guy there and he's like oh yeah blah 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 and i told him that we had had ours made in indiana and he's like there's like an amish furniture buildery in ohio and it's here and i was like what and he's like that's where we have our shit made and i was like what the fuck i was so pissed so 
Um, once I found out what the prices were, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> it was like the same, if not cheaper, than how much we have paid for our couch. So what I wanna do possibly is I'm gonna go into Flexitarian and slap some of that on. What I would like to do possibly is the couch that we have in our living room, and this is like probably two years down the road, right? Um, the couch that we have in our living room, I would love to put that in the basement and use that for the basement and then get one of those super deep seated West Elm couches because our couch, the depth of our couch is 30 inches. Um, and the couches at West Elm are like 45 inches. And that was like the deepest we could find was that 30 inches. And that's like having it custom made. So, cause I like a super deep seated couch. It's like so comfortable, right? Matchbox to Sailor is really nice, girl. It's not creasing at all, which I don't have a ton of problem with creasing because I don't put enough concealer on for it to crease. It's not bad, it's a little dry. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little dry, but it doesn't look too bad. Hmm. I got fucks with that girl. So anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh yes, I want to put our couch in the basement and then get a couch from West Elm for upstairs. Okay, let's go back to working on the eyes. Now that we get, should I do the bronzer? Let's just do bronzer first. Okay, I'm gonna use my Milani baked bronzer um, in the color Dolce. This is like my fucking favorite thing of life. I love this bronzer. So, uh, I wanna do that eventually. Um, either that or and this probably isn't gonna happen. <laughs> I would love to have a cloud couch. Have y'all sat on these cloud couches that the Restoration Hardware sells? My God. And they come in leather. Usually couches like that that are like down stuffed do not come in leather. These do. It is the most comfortable thing I've ever sat on in my life. Literally, like, I was like, oh, <laughs> my God, until I looked at the price. And they're like, eight to ten grand, sir. That's probably not going to happen. But I thought, hey, I mean, if some occurrence happens and we just happen to be millionaires in a couple of years, then yes, I will fucks with that restoration hardware couch, girl. Power of positivity. Let's use the law of attraction. That is that. So I am out a dining room table until February. I'm out of TV stand. I've been looking all around. I looked all over, um, what's that called? Uh, Wayfair. I've been looking on Wayfair and the fucked up thing is, is that the TV stand on Wayfair that I found that are like super similar to the one at West Elm are more expensive than the ones at West Elm. On fucking Wayfair. I'm like, is this supposed to be cheaper? The fuck? And the ones that are like, moderately priced so the ones that range between three and five hundred dollars um look cheap as fuck the ones that actually look nice and are like solid wood are like eight hundred to a thousand dollars i'm not trying to spend that just on my tv stand for my bedroom so <laughs> i just don't know girl i don't know what i'm gonna do okay let's fuck up these under eyes so now what should i go into first i'm gonna go into swoon first these are like really dusty and I'm just real lightly gonna connect that to the bottom. I need to get a better zoom lens. I have a zoom lens um, and it is a 24-105 L series lens from Canon. The only problem is that I don't, oh, there's my concealer. <laughs> Damn it. I put it in the cup with my brushes. Damn it, why didn't I remember that? Anyways, the only problem is that um, it only has an f-stop of four, is the lowest that it'll go, and I don't like that because I like my background to be a little bit more blurry. Um, because I don't use a blank background, I like my background to be blurry so the focus is on me, you know what I'm saying? So I need to get a new lens, but I also need a new vlogging camera. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that I need, girl, just saying. But um, in due time, girl, in due time, hopefully my AdSense will get a little bit higher than like $100 a month. That'd be amazing. And then we could 
possibly do that get a new lens and stalling day okay so i guess the glitter doesn't look that bad do you see it it looks so much better on camera look see right there where i went just a little bit too high it looks so much better on camera than it does like irl i'm just gonna take this hopefully clean brush and just kind of go back over and blah, blah. this i haven't done my makeup like this intensely for a while oh yes i think i am gonna do that how i used to do my makeup versus how i do it now i wanted to do it today but we gotta go to the gym tonight so we have karate tonight so i didn't want to i'm gonna put some fix plus on hold on um go looking like an asshole <laughs> i don't want to go to the gym with two different sides of my face and let's be real i'm too fucking lazy to like wash it off and redo my makeup to go to the gym yes i wear makeup to the gym okay just a little bit of foundation and mascara that's all maybe a little something in my brows maybe a little bit let's tight line i'm gonna use my nyx uh keeping it tight i love this thing this is like the fourth or fifth one that i bought i love it so much because it's so dinky and i can just get like right up in between my lashes you know what i'm gonna do i am going to take skulls and use that as an inner corner highlight that's that's where it is girl that right there that's what it was missing that's what she was missing because this kind of has like a pinky duochrome to it so god it's been so long since i've done this you know what i mean just because like for the day today it i don't work as much as i used to like i used to beat my face like the fuck up girl but I just don't work as much as I used to. Like I work in a fucking makeup store, so of course I'm gonna beat the fuck out of my face before I go into work. But I only work like very few days now. So maybe like once a week, um, maybe not even that much on some occasions. So I just don't find the need to like do my face like that when I'm not even leaving my house. Like I only leave my house like a couple of times a week, honestly. Especially now that there's like a fucking polar vortex out. Like hell yes. Yes, I will stay in my house with my brand new fucking log set in my brand new fireplace that I can turn on with a remote. Thanks, Veronica. So I just don't feel the need to do my face up like that. But um, I do want to get back to like doing it more because I just I love makeup so much. I miss it I've just been so focused on Everything else and like everybody else over like the past year or so that I just I haven't been doing things for myself Look at my fucking forehead right now girl. There looks like it lo almost looks like an avalanche like there's snow coming down You know what an avalanche looks like when it's like snow 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 and then there's all those rolling hills That's what that looks like right there or a pack of hot dogs really getting back to the pack of hot dogs once it gets up to a pack of hot dogs girl we Cut it out who remembers that? <laughs> What's that guy's name? Uh, I almost said Dave Chappelle. Hell no, it ain't Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle's way cooler than that guy. Uh, what was that guy's name? Dave something. Oh, have I talked about this? NARS Climax Mascara. I have been loving this so fucking much. It's such a good mascara. I also, I think in my last Get Ready With Me, or maybe the one before that, I was talking about the MAC in extreme dimension mascara but i also use this one i don't use this one on camera because i keep it in my bathroom for like every day just because it's one of those mascaras because it has a boar bristle brush which i usually don't even fuck with um the brush is like real fat for some reason i've, I've just been really digging that lately uh and because of that too i can just put like big 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 like I don't like to put a fuck ton of mascara on if I'm just going to the gym or going to, you know what I mean? Or going to the door or whatever. Uh, in this, like you can do that, but you can also like get really nice lashes with it. And I love it, girl. I love it so fucking much that I done use it to the end. And then I did one of those like nifty five minute craft <laughs> things and stuck fucking uh, eye drops into it and like, revived it yeah that's bad it's because i don't want to pay 30 dollars for it fucking sue me veronica i hate buying i won't i won't spend 30 dollars on a mascara i don't care how good it is i don't care if it makes my fucking eyelashes touch my motherfucking eyebrows girl i am not paying 
that much for mascara anymo anymo just because i feel like i'm sure there's something at the drugstore i could find that's just as good right it's mascara also that's good segue good segue into i'm getting ready to film a uh makeup products that i oh I'm getting ready to film a makeup products I no longer buy. Um, I thought it would be a good video since I'm doing the declutter and stuff because I think what I want to do, not I think, I know. What I wanna do is, I'm sorry if I keep looking at my monitor too. Fuck, that fucks me up. I hate it when people do that. <laughs> and then I do it myself. It's so hard not to when it's right there in your fucking face. And I could turn it around, but then I won't know if I'm like, focused or not you know what I mean so anyways um I uh but the problem is is ever since I got a new phone my phone will not link to my camera I don't know why I'm gonna have to like, just like buckle down and figure it out one day anyways uh because I'm doing my declutter series I thought that would be a good video and with my declutter series I kind of want to do uh, do you guys watch Jessica Braun? I don't watch a ton of her videos, but, and I don't watch Declutters, y'all know this, but um, I did come across a video of hers that was like curating my collection, and I really just want to rip that off from her, <laughs> honestly, because I think it's such a good idea, because there really is no reason to have so much stuff around. Do you know what I mean? And like I told you guys in my first declutter video, I fucking hate clutter, girl. Why can't I declutter with my makeup? So what I plan on doing um, as far as decluttering goes is condensing all of my collection down to this one Ikea drawer, which I don't know if I said that. I might've said that in my decluttering video. I'm not really sure but I really want to get it all down to that and then rotate to where I will only ever have that as a collection. You know what I mean? Where that will be all the makeup that I house will just be in that Ikea drawer, whatever the fuck I can stuff in there, girl. <laughs> and it's a big ass drawer. I should be able to stuff a lot in it. You know, I've got three Ikea drawers that were full of makeup. Also, totally forgot to mention this, but when I got done doing my declutter and I came back in my room. My nose is so stuffed up. <sighs> when I got done doing my declutter and I came back in my room and was like putting all the stuff that I'm keeping away and boxing up all the stuff that I wasn't, um, I realized that <laughs> I didn't include all my palettes. I have, all, I forgot even that I had like a whole box of drugstore palettes that I, I I don't know maybe I'll go through and be like drugstore palette collection or something like that and decide what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep I don't know yet I've decided also a lot of you guys were asking me um in my declutter video if I had planned on selling a lot of the stuff that I decluttered um there is a woman's halfway house here in my town uh and I plan on calling them and seeing if they'll take some of the stuff if they don't, I may, um, cause I don't know, like with sanitation and stuff like that, if they'll even do that. If they don't, I might do a Poshmark and sell some stuff. Cause uh, quite a few of you were like, girl, you got a Poshmark, you have Poshmark, splash it up on the Poshmark. So maybe I'll do that. I might do that. I haven't decided yet. I do have a Poshmark, um, which is just Beauty Junkie 101, my name here, but I, I've never sold anything on there. So I don't know what you know it entails or whatever so anyways let's fuck up these lips and get this show on the road what about this oh my god would you die girl if you see me this bright ass lip should i do it though let's try Ooh, look at that what's what even is this lip liner pencil in edgy pink by nyx these are hard i kind of don't like wood pencils like lip liner pencils where you have to sharpen them for myself I know they're really nice when you do makeup on people for sanitation but they just seem so much harder 
Oh, I'm gonna use this. I fucking, you guys know I hate Morphe, but I got this for gratis. It's a Morphe lip gloss. It smells like disgusting plastic, but it's not that bad. Uh, so I use this just because I don't want to ruin the doe foot on any other gloss that I have with this pink ass lipstick. Oh, if you're curious, this is in the color Frolic. I don't even know what it is. It's, it just says Morphe and it, it doesn't say like what it is or anything and it looks like this. Like I said, I got it for gratis. I won't buy Morphe shit. Okay, so that's not too bad. Not too bad. That looks okay, right? I'm gonna make, make a cute picture for the gram. Mm. Oh, my neighbor's home. Hey, girl. Oh, no. Is that why is she carrying a guitar? Oh, I wonder if her son gets guitar lessons. Huh. Okay, who cares? Anyways, all right. That's it. I'm done getting ready. And that's it. That's just. Oh, let's talk about the stuff that I liked. Duh. Okay, these glitters, I'm just like. This is what they look like, and I'm not really sure it fucks with them. It doesn't look bad, but it also doesn't look as good as these. They're Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow ones. I thought they were the exact same thing, but this says Little White Lies Liquid Eyeshadow. So I know after they came out with these, they did come out with like shimmer they were called shimmer something or another and they were literal crap like they sucked they were like super wet and gross they weren't even that pigmented they creased like all the creasy old fox and were just ick they were just gross um these are kind of like a cross <laughs> between this and that so uh i wish they would have just just keep this and come out with like 800 colors stila i'm telling you you won't regret it. Okay, and then the foundation, which I have apparently already lost. Where the fuck did I? Oh, here it is. It was, hey, do you guys ever like when something, if you have like a desk or something that you work at, when something's like standing straight up like this, it's like invisible. I do that all the fucking time. I do that with my phone. I do that with my e-cig. Like if it's standing straight up like this, I'm like, where is it at? Where is it at? And it's like right in front of my face. Anyways, this, did I tell you guys I'm in the shade Creme Brulee? This is the shade Creme Brulee, which now that it's been on my face for a minute and I've got bronzer on, doesn't look too bad. I was scared for a minute. I was going to look very ghostly, pasty pirate, but it actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, photo Ready Candid Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation. Um, medium Buildable Coverage. No Harsh Ingredients. Oh, anti-pollution antioxidant anti-blue light oil free so this is what it looks like it actually looks really nice mind you i did spray some fix plus on it i've got highlighter on everything else but it does look really good and it doesn't seem to be like creasing really bad like in my forehead lines or anything it actually looks really nice oh no i got some mascara flakage Probably because my mascara is old as dick. <laughs> okay, next up is the concealer, the Smashbox Studio Skin. I will say it's a little bit drier uh, than what I'm used to, even though I got glitter and shit all up under there. It's a little bit drier than what I'm used to, but I don't mind it. It kind of reminds me of Shape Tape. The only thing that sucks about Smashbox concealers is this is literally 0.27 ounces the shape tape i think is like 0.40 so it's almost double where is it there it is <laughs> yeah so the shape tape's 0.33 this is like 0.27 which i think a standard concealer is like 0.28 most concealers are like 0.28 if i remember right but the last Smashbox concealer that I had. Okay, maybe not. Okay, okay. I'm not giving it a fair chance. I was just thinking because the, um, what is it called? This, this, is this the same? Wait. Is this the same? Studio Skin. <laughs> Girl. 
mind blown. <laughs> I did not know this was called Studio Skin. I love this concealer. So did they just repackage it? Because this is waterproof, the Studio Skin 24 hour waterproof, which I love. And then this is Studio Skin Flawless 24 hour concealer. So I'm gonna have to do some research and see if they just repackaged it because this, this, it was this one. This is 0 0.08 fluid ounces. This is 0.27. So just say, and that's what I was gonna say that sucks about Smashbox is that their concealers are like, now my nose is running. Their concealers are like really small, but I might have to do some research and get back with you guys because I'm like, what the fuck? I don't feel like it's the same formula though because, oh my God. <laughs> My nose is running so bad right now. Uh, anyways, I don't feel like it's the same formula though because this seems to be a little bit drier than what the old one does. This was like very glowy and dewy and that's why I liked it. The only reason I didn't wear it very much is because it wasn't light enough to hide, like the lightest color wasn't light enough to highlight. This obviously is, but um, I feel like it's just a little bit drier and I put fix plus on too and it's still like kind of dry drier than what I'm used to anyways and that's a, a little bit drier it does kind of like soften your pores a little bit which is nice but um it's like it's like girl I don't mind it I'll fuck with it I'll use it okay so and I think that was it for new things that I had so I am gonna go I'm gonna shut the fuck up this video is gonna be an hour long uh yeah are you guys super excited about the design of this do you like it I'm like rubbing on my boobs do you like the design of this please let a bitch know in the comments below i really like it i think it turned out really good i'm super excited to get oh girl oh, i'm super excited to get everything started and get it up and running girl so we can get this shit on the road oh i'm so excited so excited leave me suggestions of things we should put on t-shirts somebody said baby hoy like i thought about getting a picture of hoy and then you ever seen those like filters where it's like black and white but it kind of looks like a painting like a portrait painting or whatever i thought about getting one of those a hoy printing it on a picture or on a t-shirt um definitely peace love and chicken grease definitely thanks veronica uh there was a couple others i got them written down um but if you have any other idea oh pc pirate if you've got any other ideas leave them in the comments below okay i'm gonna go i want to shut up my drag pop is like real off today i keep doing this like i'm a grandma with no teeth you know those people that don't have any teeth <laughs> go <laughs> I don't know why it reminded me of that <laughs> okay I have to go I I just I I need okay we're okay subscribe or something <laughs> I will catch you guys in my next one peace